A few of the more commonly asked questions by Clallam PUD customers are, why is my power out when my neighbors are still on? Why did my power just blink? As your supplier of reliable, clean energy, Clallam PUD would like to explain why this happens. First, let's talk about power outages. To explain this, we start with three-phase power. In its most simple form, electricity is generated and distributed on three wires which carry the electricity. The first wire is called A phase, the second called B phase, and the third wire is called C phase. This electricity then enters a PUD substation at 115,000 volts. It then goes through a transformer which changes it to 12,500 volts. The electricity then goes out through circuit breakers and is distributed to PUD customers. Just like the transmission wires, the three phase distribution wires are identified as A phase, B phase, and C phase. The PUD has 20 substations, each of which supplies power to typically between 1,000 to 2,000 customers each. Shown here is a map of the PUD's facilities in the Squim area. Customers on Prairie substation are illustrated here. Customers on Evergreen substation shown here. And those on Johnson Creek substation are shown here. Depending on how much power is required, the PUD is able to provide power to its customers using just one of the three phase wires, two of those wires, or all three wires. Typically, nearly all residential customers are supplied power through just one wire, and that wire could be connected to A phase, B phase, or C phase. When there is a problem on the system, and your power is fed from the substation where the problem is located, such as on Prairie substation, your lights could be out, while your neighbors, fed from Sunland substation, remain in power. You might be out of power, while your neighbor just next door still has power, because you both are fed from different substations. Another reason why neighbors might see differences depends on what feeder they are on. A substation typically has four circuit breakers, which the PUD identifies as feeder A, feeder B, feeder C, and feeder D. Shown here, highlighted in blue, are customers fed from Prairie Substation Feeder B. Shown in red are neighboring customers fed from Prairie Substation Feeder C. Customers fed from one substation feeder might have power, while their neighbors just next door do not have power. That is because they are fed from different feeders in the substation. When there is a problem on the system, such as a tree in the line, that tree might be affecting one, two, or even all three phases. Additionally, when making repairs, PUD crews may be turning off power to one, two, or all three phases to make the repair. Even if you and your neighbors are fed from the same substation, the issue could depend on which phase you are on. It could be limited to only customers on A phase, or just B phase, or just C phase, or even any combination of all three. The electrical network is a complex, interconnected system intertwining throughout a city. Neighbors can see differences depending upon what the nature of the problem is, what substation you are fed from, what phase you are fed from. Okay, that's good to know. So now tell me, why did my lights blink? Blinking or dimming lights are a sign of a problem somewhere on the electrical grid. These problems are mostly due to trees or branches in the lines, bird or animal contact, or car versus pole accidents. A circuit breaker in a substation acts just like a circuit breaker in your house, safely turning the electricity on or off, except on a considerably larger magnitude. When the circuit breaker is closed, everyone fed from that circuit breaker has power. When the circuit breaker opens, the power goes out. When there is a fault on the system, such as a tree in the line, the circuit breaker will immediately open up, protecting equipment and people. An electrical fault is a very violent affair, and oftentimes the tree or branch will clear or partially clear the lines as a result. Because of this, circuit breakers are designed to close back in within a fraction of a second. If the tree has cleared, the circuit breaker stays closed and you just saw a blink. If the tree or branch has not cleared the line when the circuit breaker closes in, it will immediately open up again. Within a fraction of a second, the circuit breaker will make a second attempt at energizing the line. If the fault still exists, it will open up again. 
After a short pause, the circuit breaker will then close again, attempting to restore the power one last time. If the fault still exists, the circuit breaker will open and stay open. You just saw two blinks and now your power is out. During extreme weather conditions, branches that are normally well clear of the lines can be blown into the wires making intermittent contact, causing the circuit breaker to go through an open and close cycle. This could happen repeatedly over minutes or even hours, causing multiple blinks. An electrical substation typically has four distribution circuit breakers. A severe fault on one of these distribution feeders may cause customers on one or even all three of the other distribution feeders to see the effects of that fault, another blink. In rare cases, if the fault is severe enough, or if it happens on the transmission system, which supplies power to all of the substations, a large portion of, or even the entire system may see a blink. Clallam County PUD is committed to providing our customers reliable power and minimize the effects of outages and disruptions. If you are experiencing an outage, please contact the PUD immediately to report it.